I really like the phrase, when you work, work hard, when you play, play hard. And I feel that that's a, a good way to live a balanced life. My name is Brent Shepard. I am a master's student studying statistics here at BYU, and I've been here for four years now. I enjoy my playtime, as I mentioned, and one of those ways I do it is through Ultimate Frisbee. Ever since I was just a tiny kid, I would always play with my older siblings. I have six of them, and they'd always invite me. As the little kid on the field, I was never guarded heavily, and so I would always enjoy throwing and catching and just being the secret link to our team. I've continued playing Frisbee throughout my life. Uh, Right here at BYU, they actually have a lot of intramural sports that they offer, and I enjoy playing those with a lot of my friends. We put together a team every semester and just have a good time. As a student at BYU, they expect you to have a good time and have fun, but they also do expect you to work as well. And I definitely do my fair share of work within the statistics department. They expect a lot of you, of the students, because they want the best for you. And I appreciate that because I know that the effort that I put in within the statistics department, within those classes, will help me land a future career. So for us analytical minds out there, statistics is one of the best kept secrets. It's a way to use your math skills, but apply them in, in fun and useful ways. Here in the stats department, the faculty here are involved with projects including sports, uh, involving medicine, finances, economics, you name it, and you can find someone working on it. Right now for my research, I am targeting RNA editing sites within the genome. So RNA editing is actually a necessary function within the cell. Its malfunction in humans, for example, has been linked to diseases in the central nervous system, including epilepsy, schizophrenia, chronic depression, among others. And what I do is I collect, I get RNA samples from different organisms, and I basically find where those RNA strands match to along the genome. So what you'd expect is you'd expect an RNA strand to be exactly the same as the DNA strand it was made from. However, with my research, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking for discrepancies. For example, the AGCT, I look for a particular location where it should be an A, but there are a lot of RNAs that show Gs, for example. And once I see those sites, then I can understand that, yes, this, is, this has the potential to be an RNA editing site. And from there, I perform statistical analyses to verify that probabilistically to see if it is the case or not. My research, because it deals with such large file sizes and so much data, it requires a lot of computational power. And luckily, BYU has the resources here to be able to do that. Uh, the supercomputer that I use actually houses about 10,000 processors. And to give you an idea, um, a standard computer, a laptop, has one or two, maybe even four processors on it. So for the supercomputer, I use about 360, or about 3% of those 10,000 processors. Being able to find all of these RNA editing sites in such a short period of time is, is very beneficial to doctors because once they know the location of those sites, they will be able to further research into those locations and further understand why those things are happening the way they are. So this research could save lives. BYU offers an absolutely excellent program in statistics. One of the options that it includes that is different from most other universities is that it allows you to earn your master's and bachelor's degrees in five years instead of the traditional six. They do that through the integrated program, which is what I'm participating in right now. Um, graduates from the BYU statistics program always get top-notch positions, whether it be in top-notch PhD programs across the nation or at great firms such as TiVo, Nintendo, ESPN. You know, everyone needs a statistician and everyone loves BYU grads.